guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Takara, or you can call me Teeks. It's whichever one that you would prefer. Now, I know you guys can already tell by the title above that we are about to get into a very touchy topic. If you weren't tuned in with the controversy that went on on my channel, then I'm gonna clue you in. Before we get into deep discussion, I'm, I, I mean really, really deep. This is a deep one. I'm gonna need a snack. I know you gonna need a snack too. So go ahead and, and grab your snack, boo. I would just love to get on this subject with a nice snack in my hand. Better yet, speaking of snack, National Pretzel Day is coming up, you guys. It's gonna be going on on Sunday, April the 26th. So if you're watching this on Sunday, on, on the 26th, go get your pretzel. <laughs> pretzel Maker is going to be hosting this. I went down there and I got my free pretzel, okay? Like, I told I told y'all, like, I'm gonna start, like, I really am gonna need a snack for this, for this, um, for this video. Like, no joke. Is this one right here? This topic? It's a deep topic. Oh, really? It's really deep. Hold on, go. If you want to get your snack, I know on Sundays and things like that, I like to just chill out, watch Netflix. I don't know about you, but this is going to help you out, boo. All you have to do is go down to your local pretzel maker, and all you're going to have to do is say a tongue twister for a free pretzel. That's it. It's so easy. Like, y'all get peppers with your pretzel? Say this tongue twister. It's like one of the most known tongue twisters ever. My favorite one. <laughs> If you guys go to pretzelmaker.com, if you go to the website, you can basically just see if your location store is going to be doing this offer. And I'll just link that down in the description box because I know it runs differently with different locations, especially because there are a lot of franchises out there. So if you are a newer subscriber and you haven't really been tuned into my channel, if you haven't seen this video in my natural hair journey video, if you guys haven't seen the video, this is basically what was said. Born with a head full of hair, and it definitely was a genetic thing. My mom has really good hair, and so does my dad. My dad has really, really, really good hair. Um, his hair is really good, but we're in no shape or form mixed. Um, there's always been like a thing like a, that went around in my family, on my dad's side of the family, that we were mixed with something. I never really, you know, had the time to kind of um, you know, sit down with my family members on that side of the family to kind of figure out if I was mixed with something. I do want to maybe like go back into my family tree on my dad's side to figure out if we did have something um, that we were mixed with because most of my family on my dad's side has really good hair. So on my mom's side, my grandma has really good hair. My mom has good hair. Um, I said it not intentionally knowing that it was going to offend many of my subscribers out there. Me being new to the natural hair community, I never really realized how the term good hair really affected a lot of people in the natural hair community. I've grown up with everyone around me, even friends, random people on the street, always telling me that I had whatever it's called, good hair. I grew up hearing it so much that when I said it in the video, it didn't even click in my head that I was spitting that out, not even realizing that you guys out there might actually get offended by it. That there are younger viewers who might be self-conscious about starting their natural hair journey and that coming out of my mouth, not really realizing that I was saying it, it could definitely offend a lot of people. And I had a lot of people in the comments very offended, very angry about it. And I definitely do wanna apologize for that because as you all know, this channel is not a negative channel. This channel is not to bring anyone down. That whole natural video was to lift and encourage any girl out there who was looking to go natural to be accepted, to accept her natural hair, and to just go for it. This is not a video to bring you guys down. This, our natural hair journeys, just, it, even if you're not a natural hair, just your overall hair in general, we're gonna talk about this topic because I've, I don't want you guys coming back onto my channel saying, oh, she thinks she's better than everybody. She thinks she has good hair. Because I want you guys to know, I've never, I've never realized how big this term has been 
and I never realized how much it's affected people. As a person, I didn't really get to choose or decide what, what I wanted to name my hair. Are you getting what I'm, do you guys kind of understand what I'm saying? Everyone else got to define it, which made people think that it was coming out of my mouth. I just don't, I want a lot of positivity on this channel. You, I'm in a relationship with you guys, like, and if I do something that is misunderstood, I feel like we, we need to communicate. I have something really, really fun for you guys. I decided that you guys are my viewers, and I wanted to get some opinions from some other people who aren't my viewers. You know, give them the background, let them know, you know, what happened in the video, the controversy that happened. Give them the background, um, you know, what happened in the comments, why people were maybe upset about what I said, and to try to figure out, you know, because I got asked a lot, what, what's my definition of good hair? Well, I don't have one. I don't know. Like, I mean, I don't really have a definition of good hair. I think just, the, like, I don't really, just like I don't really have a definition of what's beautiful. It's just, if I see something and I think it's pretty, then I'm going to say, oh, well, that's pretty, like... Oh, well, her face is really healthy. Like, oh, or beauty is the eye of the beholder. I told you guys, I looked it up because, like I said, what is the definition of good hair? I mean, I just see good hair, and if it's pretty in my eyes, I'm going to say, hey, your hair is really pretty. Just like if I see a nice outfit, I'm going to say, hey, that outfit that you have on is popping. I went on campus, on a college campus, and I wanted to get opinions from people who weren't my friends, people who weren't my viewers, people who had no clue who I was, to see what they thought. Let's see what they have to say. <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay. Grew up listening to that term. All the time. All the time. All the time, girl. All the time. Uh, yeah, I have Okay, okay. Yes, I, I have heard it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I have heard. So called phrase. Yes, I've heard of the phrase for hair. <laughs> They're good. It's double haircut. You know, get a haircut every, every week. Oh, men too. You talking about men? I like. I like. I got a bald head. So. <laughs> I love that. I don't have good hair. <laughs> Why do you think you so, don't have good hair though? Like, because you gotta look at. I don't have the thickness in the middle. <laughs> Like everyone can see that get up so like I don't have any hair. Do you think it's because of the people around you that make you feel that way? Yeah, because like, I get picked on, called baldy, stuff like that. Hair that is healthy and hair that you make sure you take care of and yeah, hair that is yours. Good hair to you is basically your own opinion. If you feel comfortable with your hair, then that's good hair. Right. Just like what, whatever you think is beautiful and whatever you think is not. Right. It's, the, it's, right. it's all just an opinion. It's beauty is the system. eye of the beholder. Good right. hair is socially constructed. Right. It yes. is. Definition of good hair. I honestly like natural hair a lot. Um, so good hair to me is making your hair presentable and like make it your own style. It's good hair. As long as hair is like healthy, like it's apparent that you're taking care healthy, of it, not that's damaged, hair, yeah. has some, not not even definite. As long as you're taking care of it, like it's apparent that it's healthy. That's good hair. Full, full natural thickness. Good hair is hair that will grow, hair that is healthy, hair that you've been taking care of. Drink water to have good hair. A definition of good hair. I think good hair is any hair you take care of. You know, it doesn't smell bad and it doesn't, you know, fall all over your sink. <laughs> so as long as it's not bad, I think it's good. Hair. I feel as if it's just personal preference as far as what's good hair or not. It depends on the person. Like somebody could think. Uh, you know, with the weave, is, that's good hair. I feel like people do it as like a, because I feel like some people do it because they might be insecure about, you know, their own hair or whatever. It like, it's just something to keep the black community separated. That's, that's what I call her hair. It's nasty. Oh, it's, it's too fine. It's too thick. I just feel like people use that term to make it feel like, oh, I got one up on this person or, you know. I think it's because, you know, we live in a society where we don't kind of control the narrative. So we're, everything that we do, whether it's fashion, oh my food, God. music, or, you know, how we choose to live, is kind of uh, judged based upon what the people in the dominant society do. So I feel, I feel like good hair kind of falls in line with that. 
basically a learned behavior. Like where I'm from, I had long hair, but I was relaxed, and they thought that was good hair. But it was just long hair. I mean, it could be curly hair, and that's good hair. Or it could be short hair. I've seen short, thick hair, and the hair that I was very jealous of. So it just, like I said, it's just a learned behavior. Like it's what people tell you, basically, and you go off of that. It's hard to tell people to do. They want different types of hair. They see themselves and they'll see somebody that has hair that they want. So they say, oh yeah, good hair. Like, oh, yeah. Maybe because some people have good hair, or some people have hair that they think is good, but then to someone else, it could be like mediocre hair. I think everybody has the opportunity to have good hair, but some people, they don't know how to take care of their hair. and then because you didn't take care of your hair now, it's bad hair and they envy others that actually did take care of their hair. Because yeah, I, <laughs> I used to be self-conscious about my hair, I'm not gonna lie. And I think as black women, specifically, we have a really hard time with what our hair needs to look like to be accepted and stuff. And Because I, I went to a white school and they'd be like, your hair is nice, but it's so weird and stuff like that. So, and you, if that stuff isn't mean, but it makes you feel a way when you don't really already kind of feel accepted sometimes, you know, because when you're black, you do feel like an outsider a little bit, you know, with white people, especially when the hair conversation comes up. You want to look pretty and you want to be accepted by society and then, so when white people have their hand on society, so we think straight hair is what our hair is supposed to look like and it's not. So I think that's where it starts to come from, us wanting to be accepted. When people go to like extreme lengths to like color their hair every other week or like cut it, bleach their hair, I mean, it's not. I mean, you like stripped your hair of like the it potential it had. No. I don't know. I've seen some. I've just seen people with just like just some nasty looking hair. Like it's just. Wash it looks hair. like it has no Take care help. Of your hair. And do you think like 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 that's just. With not just African American girls, but just any oh, oh, know, totally. like race. Totally. Like, I think all hair is beautiful. I think it is. That's natural. Yeah. That's natural. Do you want to touch it? That's natural. <laughs> 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 wow, why would you say that? Like, I don't know. Not all hair is beautiful. Just imagine young thug. Oh, <laughs> not young thug. All hair is definitely beautiful. You need to wear your hair. You don't need to, but you should wear your hair how you want to, how it comes out of your head, and whatever you feel like it. Don't let anybody tell you what your picture looks like. Have you actually seen like the, uh, the Chris Pratt movie? The yes. Movie? I yes. love that. And Creamy Crack. Yeah. I used to be a fan <laughs> of the Creamy Crack. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. As long as you're taking care now, of I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be honest. Now I do, but like, I'm not going to lie. Growing up, when I was in high school, yes. I was Something one of those people like, learned. oh, she got good hair. Like, yeah. I, I yes. feel like I've grown so much since I was in the 12th grade. Like, I'm not even the same person I was. Like, and I, yeah. I had a certain mindset, and I thought certain things were only cute. And like, you know, only, like, I thought girls with y'all type of hair texture was the only ones who could be natural. I thought three, what's it, three days, yes. three days. I don't even know my hair texture. Yeah. Yeah. She told me I was three. Yeah. Me, and I was like, I yeah. thought I and was And that whole three. system is kind of get it. to yeah. go yeah. by. Yeah. Yeah. Being natural now, I see that all types of hair are beautiful. It's going to take care of it. Yeah, I think all the hair is beautiful. As long as it's on your head. Yeah. That's, that's where it's beautiful. It should be beautiful on your head. Yeah. As long as you don't have like, you know, like the toe hair. It's all good. Anything other than that, good. Uh, DJ Chewy at I am DJ Chewy Twitter underscore DJ Chewy Instagram. Me on Twitter at what is lean L E N E not L E A N and on Instagram at no underscore one the number one believes underscore me at that boy <laughs> underscore M Instagram. I'm on Twitter at Doria. <laughs> Figueroa. Figueroa. E O R E O N A F I G U E R O A. Booyah! Booyah! <laughs> follow me at um, yeah. <laughs> Follow me, Beautiful Dome. I'm on oh. YouTube. Oh, you got a YouTube channel yet? Oh, now I have YouTube. But, you can make one. But follow me on Instagram at Kiara Clark, and that is two K's at the end. And yeah. Okay. Oh, Twitter at K C K A Y four Y's three C's and three E's. Boom. I'm gonna leave it to you. Give it to me. Oh Twitter, yeah. Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, underscore Will of Fortune. Um, follow me on Instagram.
But yeah, yeah, follow me on there. And that's it. Thank y'all for letting me interview you. Thank you. you. Oh, it is uh, nice uh, meeting y'all. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> for all the naturals out there.